Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're joining Bob up in orbit as he is now 24 days, 18 hours and 7 minutes into his endurance trial and as you can see everything has gone very very well. I'm super excited about how well things have gone actually and in just a uh, brief bit of um, you know, resource management. I'm going to transfer into his command pod a full uh, set. Or really, I'm going to give him as many resources inside of this pod as I can, while also ditching his waste and waste water into the service module. And I forgot to add those lithium hydroxide tablets. But we didn't even have to turn on his scrubbers, which is absolutely amazing. And we are coming up here on our perigee. So we're going to go ahead and make his burn. To put him on a return trajectory and bring Fearless Bob back home. ahead and get ourselves lined up. We can ditch this resource panel now. Go away resource panel, nobody likes you. Just a quick tap of the engines here. We're just trying to get our periapsis down to about 65-70 kilometers or so. shouldn't take a whole lot of effort considering how much Delta V this service module actually has. Oh, electric charge. That's what I forgot to transfer over. Either way. We'll, we'll handle that in just a bit. Let's get him deorbited first. 63. I hope that's not too low. We did get a couple of contracts completed. 300 grand for saying 14 days in orbit. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we also got con or not contracts, but like milestones for three days in orbit, seven days in orbit, I think 10 days in orbit, and then that one for 14 days in orbit. He was easily able to accomplish all of them. All right, let's. Uh, our electric charge here is full. That's awesome. The solar panels were able to keep the batteries fully charged the entire time, and it does look like we'll be coming down in the Atlantic, and that is awesome. So we'll go ahead and time warp over until we start to uh, encounter some atmosphere. Should probably now well, we'll rotate around when we get a little closer. All right, that's good. I really need you to angle to retrograde there, please. to arm our parachutes and decouple the service module. SAS has been disengaged because Bill is not a pilot. We can unlock that hydrazine tank. We could have done that a long time ago. I guess actually we don't need nearly as much hydrazine as we think we do. Alright Bob. You're on the stick, you have the ball. All you have to do is not flip around and die. Let's see what happens. Bob, you're flipping around. That is not allowed, sir. 
Let's get deeper in that atmosphere so that you can just let the weight of the pod do its thing. And again, with all of this wobbling. Come on. Okay, seriously, dude. These re-entries take a long time. I don't want to have to babysit you through all of it. Ugh. This is why we love SAS. Goes our command pod exploding. Wow. Ooh. the antenna. Whew. hope that keeps her primary shoot from tearing itself apart. G-Force is still building. God, that's punishing seven G's. There goes probably one of our antennas. Ooh. It looks like he's gonna cap out right there around seven G. That's not bad. Valentina pegged up somewhere around nine, nine and a half. Did we make it to the Atlantic? No, we did not. Well, all right then. But we're a lot closer. That's uh, worth something, right? And a good chunk of that ablator left. I don't know if this pod is exactly rated for a lunar free return, but I'm, I'm willing to test the theory. Provided, of course, I don't completely screw it up. I don't know where that roll is coming from. We're going to try to arrest that as much as we can. I don't know why it's fighting me getting onto the retrograde vector. That should be natural. Just let this coast on in. All right, we should be coming up on shoot deployment here any second now. And there they go.
Both our primary and secondary shoots are out. That's good. That's great news, actually. Uh, this is the first time we've brought one of these capsules home on both shoots. Are we... Uh, I don't know why our RCS thrusters are not working. Uh, is it just saying that we don't have roll control? Yeah, we do. Okay, they're firing. My bad. Alright. And both shoots at full deploy. I know that's a happy sight that Bob can't see. Just the blue of the sky. Whew. But yeah, 4.9 meters per second. That'll be a relatively gentle splashdown compared to all of Valentina's. Or both, maybe? I should say. But that does bring to close his 24-day mission in orbit, setting all kinds of new records and gathering lots of lovely, wonderful, and useful information about the effect of microgravity on the Kerbal body, and has paved the way for the uh, Zenith Blue 5 to make its next shot at the moon. That'll be in future episodes. Until then, everybody, thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time.